Now the music part, or the new music phase of everything. Um, you know, like most people who get into hip hop is usually inspired by somebody older, whether it's a brother, whether it's a father, cousin, whatever. Like, how did you get into hip hop? And who were your first early on hip hop influences? So when I was younger, my dad um, put together a group. Me and my sister, there's five of us. We all was in like a group. He tried to do the Jackson 5 thing. Okay. Whatever. But I was the lead singer. So... Uh, with that, we was called True Sister Act or whatever. And we started doing music in Detroit. And he was an underground Detroit artist. Okay. So this right before he left home, like left my, uh, but right before my parents split, you know? Gotcha. So uh, we had a little group. That's where I started doing music at, for real. Okay. And that group, like, as a kid, like six years old, singing Up All Night. You don't hit the notes right. I'm gonna beat y'all. All right, he you was Joe Jackson for real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, he actually told me that in the studio session. He like, man, if you don't hit them notes right, I'm gonna turn to Joe Jackson. I said, okay, I'm gonna hit these notes. Right. <laughs> but yeah. For yourself, what was that aha moment for you? Like, you know what? I am like really good at music, and music is something I'm gonna pursue. Um, I was in the I was sleeping in the bando, and uh, in Dallas, Texas. Um, in North Dallas. Yeah. And I wrote this song. It was called Bando Anthems. It's actually going to be on my project. I wrote that song. And everybody on the... I started singing on the block. And everybody on the block, they love that song. So it was that moment when I realized I was supposed to be a music artist. I found my sound. I finally found it. I was like, I found my sound. Stick with it. Gotcha. So, yeah. It was that moment that I found Ghetto Blues. And I'm like, yeah, this is it. And at first I didn't know, like, you know, you you writing a song, you don't really know, like, but then when everybody else starts saying that they, like, keep asking you to sing it over and over, you know, like, you know it's a hit. You know, you know this is for you. you okay. Know? So that was my aha moment when I was in that band, though, like, yeah, I'm going to try to do this music thing full time. 